Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, and I know this is a little bit late, but um, still wanted to get out. So today I'm going to be re reviewing Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Now before I get into everything, I just want to say please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you always know when my videos go up and when I upload. And I'm uh, still trying to get more and more videos out. And I'm really excited about this channel and wanted to get off the ground. So, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Now, this movie stars Tom Hardy, Woody Harrelson, and this is the sequel to the 2019 hit, Venom. Alright, now, the caveat of this movie is, if you did not like the first one, 99% sure that you will not enjoy this one. This movie really leans into what people really enjoy and also what I enjoyed about the first one was the odd couple feel of Tom Hardy and Tom Hardy because he also voices Venom but that playing off each other and that relationship that they have that they eventually grow is a big reason why the first one is so enjoyable and they're just two likable characters and they fit really well together so if you didn't like the first one more than likely you're not going to like this one but speaking of this one they really do lean much more into the relationship between them and in the second one they really dive into the nuances and little intricate things about living together because Venom lives inside Eddie and it's a big problem because Eddie doesn't necessarily doesn't like Venom coming out and people seeing him and that's a major thread in the movie of them finally getting on board with each other and like being comfortable with each other. It's really sweet in that way where it's like they come to like realize they love each other and I thought that was a really nice thing that they added for the movie. So that's one aspect I liked and that's one aspect I know is going to be very dividing for people because it is aspects that some people didn't like in the first one, some people did. So I'm going to be saying that a lot because this movie takes a lot of the first thing, concepts of the first one and kind of just blows it out of proportion. Now let me get to the villain of the movie and the villain in the title, Carnage. And as a fan of the 90s uh, TV show and that being much more of a reference for me and the character, I had a little bit of information and stuff like that with the character, but not necessarily all the backstory. So going into this movie, I learned a little bit more about the backstory, but it still wasn't as much as it could have been or weight it could have gave especially since it is a secondary villain that is also in this movie that you really don't get to learn any of or understand how she has her powers or anything like that but besides the backstory i did love carnage in this movie he was as crazy as ever he was a madman even in the way woody harrelson had the character speaking it just felt like this was a person who was unhinged just like the Cletus Cassidy character from the 90s show and the comics. So in that aspect, I really did like it. And the CGI and the special effects for Carnage were pretty good. Like, I was astounded by how fluid and great they had this CGI looking. And even the Venom CGI was a step up from the first one, you know? So with that out the way, my biggest gripe of the movie really is the fact that it is not R-rated. If anybody knows Carnage, Carnage is a very R-rated TVMMA hardcore character and it just felt like they had to do so much heavy lifting to make this a PG-13 movie when it just so easily could have been R-rated. And with everything happening, with the box office, everything like that, I understand, but I just felt with that, that led into problems with editing and chopping up this movie and also the runtime because it, it was quick and it was going, but it just felt like they had to take out so much stuff and edit it around so many things 
that it became noticeable in areas where they was trying to make it PG-13. So that's probably my biggest gripe with that movie, but I cannot say I was not entertained by this movie and the odd couple feel and also the third act when they really get into it. This movie is entertaining. And side note, stay to the end after the credits because the after credits scene will blow your mind. Um, it is worth the price of admission to see this after credit scene and see what the future holds. So I'm just say that and nothing more. But overall, I did enjoy this movie, but the story was a throwaway um, plot wise. You're not coming for this movie for plot. You're coming for the odd couple pairing of Eddie Brock and Venom to face the lunatic of Carnage. And for the most part, you get that. Besides the PG-13 R-rated conversation, this movie was enjoyable. It had its problems, but still enjoyable. So I'm going to probably give this movie a 2.5 out of 4. I would recommend it, but with the caveat, if you didn't like the first one, then you're probably not going to like this one. So, did you see the first Venom? Did you like it? Did you not? Did you watch the 90s uh, TV show of Spider-Man with Venom in it? Did you read the Venom comics of the 90s? They referenced Le Lethal Protector a lot. So, let me know if any of those things, and please like, subscribe, again, comment below, and I'll see you next time. <music>